Okay, uh, so I'll do this a row at a time. Uh, so if we uh, zoom in so we can actually see it a bit better. So uh, question one, a mobile phone uh, price increases from £80 to £92. Calculate the percentage increase in the price. Uh, so uh, the percentage increase is going to be equal to the change uh, divided by the original times by 100. Uh, so that's going to be equal to, uh, change is going to be 12 divided by 80 uh, times by 100, which will give us, let's go calculator. So uh, 12 divided by 100 uh, divided by 80 uh, times by 100. So that's going to give us a 15% change. Uh, a jacket originally cost £60 and it was reduced by 25%. What is the sale price? Uh, so the jacket originally cost £60. So if I times 60 multiplied by 25% uh, reduction is 0.75 as a multiplier. So uh, 60 times by 0.75 is going to give us 45 pounds so the sale price would be 45 pounds uh, convert 0.25 into a fraction and then into a percentage uh, so 0.25 as a fraction would be 25 over 100 uh, which is going to give you uh, 1 over 4 so that would be it as a fraction and as a percentage uh, 25 uh, is going to be 25% uh, so there we go, fraction and percentage. Find 30% of 150. Uh, so we're going to do 150 times by 30% as a multiplier would be 0 0.3. So uh, that's going to give us 45, I think. 150 times by 0 0.3 gives us 45. A recipe requires two thirds of a cup of milk. If the recipe is reduced by a half, how much milk is needed? Uh, so we want a half of two thirds. So uh, that would be uh, one third. Right. Okay, uh, simplify 3x plus 5 minus 2x plus 7. So we're going to collect our x terms together. So 3x. Uh, minus 2x is going to give us x, and then we collect our numbers. So plus 5 plus 7 is going to be plus 12. Uh, question 2, uh, solve the equation. So I'm going to minus 5 from both sides. So that gives me 2x is equal to 12. I'm then going to divide both sides by 2 to give me x is going to be equal to 6. If y is equal to 2x plus 3 and x is equal to 6, calculate the value of y. So y is going to be equal to 2 lots of 6 uh, plus 3. So that's going to give us uh, 12 plus 3. That's going to give us 15 for y. Right, factorize. <clears throat> so I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together to make 6 and, and that add together to make 5. So that's going to be 2 and 3. So x plus 2 and x plus 3. Uh, a sequence begins 3, 7, 11. What is the fifth term of the sequence? So we could carry this up. Uh, I'm just going to do it slightly differently, though. I'm going to say that the, the nth term is going to be equal to common difference is 4, so 4n. And then to 4, I would need to minus 1 to get to 3. So that's my nth term. So the fifth term is going to be equal to 4 times 5 uh, minus 1, which is going to give us 19. Right. Uh, calculate the perimeter of a rectangle with a length of 12 and a width of 5. So the perimeter is going to be equal to two lots of uh, the length plus the width. So it's going to be two lots of 17 which is going to give us 34 centimetres for our perimeter. 
In a right angle, one side measures six centimeters and the hypotenuse measures 10 centimeters. Find the length of the other side. So we're given the hypotenuse and we're given one of the shorter sides. So the missing side I'm gonna call X and that's gonna be equal to the square root of the hypotenuse. So 10 squared uh, minus six squared. And I'll type it in like that. The square root of 10 squared minus six squared that gives us eight centimeters find the area of a circle with a radius of four centimeters so the area of a circle is pi r squared so that's going to be pi times by four squared and we can type it in like that so shift pi times by four squared gives us 16 pi or as a decimal uh, 50.8 I'm going to go 50.3 centimetres. Um, a point 2 minus 1 is translated 5 to the right and 3 centimetres up. Uh, what is the new coordinate? Uh, so I want to do uh, 2 and then uh, if I start with my x, uh, so my x is my uh, across. So I'm going to go 2 plus 5 for my x coordinate. And my y coordinate is going to be minus 1 plus 3. So my new coordinate is going to be 7, 2. A pie chart shows that 25% of a class of 40 students chose chocolate ice cream. How many students is this? Uh, so I want 25% uh, of 40. So uh, I can just halve it twice. Uh, so that's going to be 10 students. Right, final column. So a car is traveling at a constant speed of 50 kilometers per hour. How far would it travel in two hours? Uh, well, if speed is equal to distance divided by time, uh, distance is gonna be equal to speed times time. Oops. Speed times time. So uh, 50 times by two is gonna give us 100 miles. Oh, sorry, 100 kilometers. Right, a straight line passes through the points, and we've got several points. Uh, calculate the gradient of the line. Uh, so we've got coordinates written twice. Uh, that's an, an issue with my putting the questions together. I'll change that before it goes out, though. Uh, so uh, the gradient is going to be the change in y, so 10 minus 2, over the change in x, so 4 minus 0. Uh, so that's going to give me 8 over 2, which is going to give me a gradient of 4. In a Venn diagram, set A has 15 elements, set B has 20 elements. If the intersection, the overlap of these sets contains 5 elements, how many unique elements are there in the union of both sets? Uh, well, uh, that means that I've kind of got a, uh, well, we will put it in. So we've got five in the intersection. If there are 15 elements in set A, it must mean that there are 10 unique values just in set A, but not in B. And then likewise, 15 there. So we've got a total of 30 elements in the union. So a cyclist covers 12 kilometers in 0 0.5 hours. Determine the speed of the cyclist in, 0 .4, uh, in kilometers per hour. So if we're doing 12 kilometers in uh, 0 0.5 of an hour, uh, it must mean we're doing 24 kilometers in one hour. So the speed is 24 kilometers per hour. And then a column vector is represented by 3, 4. Uh, calculate its magnitude. Uh, so its magnitude is, uh, if we imagine we've got uh, 3 across and 4 up. Its magnitude is the length of the hypotenuse. Uh, so it's going to be equal to uh, the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. 
uh, which is going to give us 9 plus 16, which is going to give us the square root of 25, so its magnitude would be 5. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Uh, good luck with your exam.